Hi everyone, I'm Frank from the City of Games, and today I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the Isle of Cats Explore and Draw. Now, if you're not familiar with the rules and you'd like to learn them, I do have a how to play video as well, and today I'm going to be doing a two player run through. So I've set up Kumar over here, and I've set up Yana over here, and we are good to go. For anyone wondering, Yana and Kumar are two of my cats, and they are brother and sister, so it only seems right that today they're going to be fighting it out over who can rescue the most cats in the best possible way. In our first round we are going to see what cards are coming out and of course normally players would be able to take their turns at the same time so it would be a little bit quicker than it will be in this playthrough but for me I do have to take turns one at a time. We're going to start with Kumar, move to Yana and switch back and forth. Okay let's see what comes out. Are we going to get any lessons in our first round? 15 points if you've got no treasure is an interesting one. One point per common treasure on your boat okay so this is a big lesson card for the first round because are you going to commit to no treasure for the whole game for those 15 points and i feel like it could be quite fun to do that and perhaps maybe we're going to do that with kumar kumar is a brave cat he likes to do things that no one else thinks possible like jump from one cupboard to another cupboard and fall in the middle. So we are taking this lesson card, crossing it off, and we're going to get a green and an orange cat. So we don't care about our treasure maps. In fact, we literally are opposite caring about treasure maps. We do not want to cover them. So what I'm wondering is where's going to be the best place to start? I mean, these two cat tiles are pretty good for kind of corner pieces and maybe there is a good place that we could put them. I'm kind of just having a look around. I'm thinking that maybe coming down here is going to be a nice start for the green cat. So let's put this one up here. That's going to be our first cat. And then for the orange cat, maybe I should have done that one as the orange and then move the green in this direction because we do want to build up families. What we don't want to do is have the right colors over those maps. So maybe I'm going to expand across the board with orange and start moving into this direction. So that could be interesting. What about if we kind of step it up then? What about if we come across and we go up and we go across and we go up and we go across and kind of invert them like normally this would not be the kind of play but i think today this could be quite interesting we're going for that no treasure approach over here and that is going to really blow us away so why don't we go for treasure with yana why don't we go over here one of the interesting things about explore and draw is obviously players can take the same things so normally you know if you're looking for what's the optimal thing to do you're going to make the same decision so for me playing two characters i've got to kind of think past that a little bit and giving them two different directions feels like a really interesting starting point i think that if we're going to go super treasure heavy starting over here and covering a treasure map is going to be good taking these treasures is going to be good that's going to get us three extra points right off the start so for our first piece i think that what are we going to get we're going to get a dot and a line so for covering the treasure map i think we're going to take a corner piece then I think we're going to come down here and we're going for common treasures so whilst that rare treasure would be three points the common treasures are going to be a point each so they are still less but i think just building up those common treasures is going to be interesting for us so i'm going to go down this route and we'll see what else comes out later on that feels like a really nice start we've managed to fill a little bit of the edge of our boat nice and efficiently we've got our lesson card over here we've gone absolutely crazy so I feel like actually I probably couldn't have set that up better if I had tried to, to be honest. I'm really excited to see where this is going to play out. We're going to move on to the second round of seven rounds and we're going to see what comes out next. So Kumar really at the moment is looking to just be looking for that kind of the big families, maybe two really big families. Filling rooms as efficiently as possible without using treasures is going to be hard, but kittens are definitely going to help with that a great deal. So Kumar would love to see lots and lots of kittens coming out yana on the other hand is looking for that mixture of different families looking for lots of treasures coming out and it's going to be interesting there is more kittens coming out there and kumar kumar is opting these up as potentially it's a good time to use a special because 
you can use a special to take one from each row and this could be an interesting time to take those but it's too early i think the problem kumar's got is later on they've got to make sure they don't get any treasures accidentally so we've got to keep these specials to make sure we can mitigate if there's a situation where every column has at least one treasure in it so i think that the take one item um from each row instead of taking a column is something we have to save for an emergency situation an emergency situation only nine points if you have exactly three different colored cats now that could be interesting but is that asking too much is that asking too much is oh my goodness like I don't know. That could be interesting. Maybe two points per visible rat. Maybe we don't cover any rats. We don't get any treasures. We just leave our boat a complete mess. Focus on two big families, cover a couple of rooms, and see what happens. That could be interesting. That could be an approach. 15 points if you've got at least three families of the same color could also work quite well. Oh, I am tempted. I am tempted to go for three different families of the same color two points per visible rat and no treasure oh let's do it who knows what's going to happen but this feels i am excited we're going to take number six over here two points per visible rat i mean we covered five on our first turn but that's okay we're then going to come over here and we're going to take two point 15 points if you've got at least three families of the same color then we're going to get our red and our orange so now we don't oh my goodness this is this is going to be intriguing I mean, covering the odd rat is fine because it's minus five points for a room. So covering a rat is losing as a point, but gaining as four points if it fills a room. So it makes sense to fill these three rooms, not necessarily all of the others. So these ones would have been good ones not to cover. I'm already regretting this decision, but we just need to build up some families. Let's just try and build up some families. Let's get this red cat up here. This is gonna be a nice divider to break off this orange cat. We're then gonna take the orange cat, um, the other kitten down here. We're gonna stick this one down here. And wow, I. this is gonna be a really, break it win or lose. Well, obviously win or lose. In a two player game, there aren't many other options, but I am excited to see what happens. So back over here, one point per common treasure. We've got one red cat so far. Um, I mean, three different colored cats is an option for Yana, but maybe that's just risking too much right now. Maybe coming down here, getting a green and a purple and getting started with that and two more common treasures could be good. Um, because I mean, <laughs> Taking the kitten would be fine for a red, but we're still going to get a blue and a purple and a green, which aren't going to help with too much. I don't obviously want to take this column because it's actually impossible and Kuma is a nightmare, but this one, three different colored cats, but that would be it. Purple, orange, and red. We would be done. Oh, I don't know. I think, well, let's take this one. Let's go for this one. Let's just try and play it safe with at least one of our um, players. So we're going to draw in I think let's go for a common treasure first. So let's go for a two. So what do we want to do? We want to kind of, we want to put the purple one here, don't we? Which is going to be two across. So that means we want to fill in this space. So let's put in the two there, should be that. And then let's try and put in the one, because where's this cat going to go? This cat's going to go up this way. So we probably should have put the green in first because otherwise that's not going to work. But what we could do maybe is put this one in here because then that is going to allow us to draw our green cat and we're going to draw the green cat here, I think. I think that makes sense. That's going to give us the green. We're kind of blocking off the red cat. The red cat is in a bit of a bad situation, but that seems okay. And the purple one, I'm trying to keep the lid semi on. So the pens um, are easy to um, get to. I don't want to keep um, having to sit here and trying to take lids off pens every few seconds, but they keep rolling all over the place. Okay. So purple, we've got our purple. We've got our green. We're still going for common treasures. We've got a lot of common treasures we're moving towards another and moving towards another we're building out filling this space with reds will be tricky but two reds in here would be really cool kumar is just absolutely all over the place and we are moving on to round three and 
is already taking really, really different approaches. Yana can use her specials quite openly just to try and get those extra few points. Kumar is having to keep them for safety because Kumar is really, really in dangerous territory. But let's see what comes out. We have got, I'm going to have to keep checking back to his lessons each round just to make sure that I don't screw up on what they are. We want lots and lots of orange, don't we, for Kumar. So hopefully we're going to get a few oranges coming out. And I mean, that's one, but there's also the Oshaks. So any Oshaks would be quite helpful. Four points. Okay, there's an Oshax. That's interesting. And another one, but with a treasure. Now this is where it's intriguing because, again, Taking this row could be really good for Kumar because we'd get two orange cats, but I don't think that's what we want to do just yet. So we're going for no treasures, we're trying to not cover rats, and we want at least three families of the same colour. So I do think that we want to take the orange cat or an Oshax, which gives us these two options. We can't take this one. So red and purple, are they going to help? Or four points per family of four or more cats? Are we going to get more than nine orange cats because that's really where that sits and i don't know that feels like there's no way that's going to happen but uh, what's a purple cat going to do for us so let's go for it just in case let's let's just keep pushing the wheel let's go for it we're going for number eight and we're hoping we're now going to draw in an orange cat and i do think that we want to fill in you know a bit of some rooms i think the two points per rat is gonna help us like not have to worry too much about filling rooms in a crazy way but at the same time like this one's going to be plus three this one's going to be plus three so we're only losing two points for those ones so that's not too bad but what about the red cat i mean maybe we should be building a red cat family just to, because this is a family now, and it kind of makes sense, I guess, to keep that reds going and blocking off this one now. So we're probably, um, that's not going to fit there. So I think what we want to do is come across, put this here and come across there and fill in this bit. That kind of blocks off this orange, and that is going to give us... Um, the ability to fill this room in this room. I think that basically we're trying to fill these three rooms and leaving the rest, get this to a family, maybe get this to a family, and then no treasures, and we'll see what happens. I mean, leaving four rooms is minus 20 points. It's not going to be the end of the world if we can get everything good from the rest of it. So that is us done. Over to Yana. Yana is judging her brother greatly over here right now, but Yana is thinking... I don't have too much going on. Like we've got our common treasures and keep taking these common treasures are sure two points, but maybe we're over like over pushing those. Maybe we do want to try and get these families growing. Maybe this is a good column for us because the red will fit in here. The purple will come over here. The Oshaks will also fit in quite nicely too. And I'm thinking maybe that's where we're going to go so maybe we're going to draw in the oshaks and i think let's have a look is it going to work in i think maybe i'm wrong but maybe if we're lucky this oshaks is going to fit quite nicely into this gap and that is going to leave us with the ability to put the red cat into this gap and I think that that has worked beautifully for us. We're then going to take the purple cat and we are, oh, I don't know. I kind of want to draw it down here, but that's going to leave that space. So I think we're going to draw it here, which is a bit of a strange place to put it. I'm, I'm sure, but what it does is it's then going to give us the ability to fill this room with one common treasure while still allowing us potentially to put something in here, but if we can't, it's not going to be too bad to fit it with a common treasure, so we're not really losing anything, but we're potentially gaining something, and I think that that is going to be the end of that round. So, we've still not used any specials, and that's not too bad being at this point in the game and still having all your specials is really really good sometimes early on there's things that you really want to die for and push in but right now i'm feeling okay about it i mean i'm pretty confident yana is gonna win but kumar really could pull this out of the bag it's gonna be a really really difficult game but let's see if it can work because 
And this is a strategy that you can really, really push through. And what are we looking for? We're looking for orange cats. Kumar just wants Oshaxes, orange kittens, orange everything. There is one coming out there. And what have we got? We've got... Uh, not too much just yet. Another orange has come out. So if we can get a good Oshax, um, that could be good. We do not want to see treasure cards. Lesson cards, seven points. We've got exactly four families. That could be an interesting one. Um, the Oshax here, I think... That's not too bad. So seven points, you've got four families could be interesting because we're trying to get three orange families and the red family would give us that. So that could work out quite nicely for us. However, if we come in here, it is going to give us that extra orange cat. And right now, I mean, we're halfway through the game. We've only got three and we do want more than three in our families to get those extra four points. So whilst this seven could be good, I think a flat out, I, yeah, I think a flat out, let's just go and get a lot of um, orange is going to be the way to go right now. I'm just trying to think about where we want to put these. So we don't want to join them. So we do want to put this orange cat perhaps over here, out the way slightly. That is then going to be in that place. Then we can take the Oshax to try and fill in some more of this room, which again is just helping us work towards. I mean, maybe we've just made our life a bit too tricky over there, but we will see. And then the green cat, we can stick over here, kind of out the way, but maybe it is going to help us form this family. So at the moment, it's not too bad. Because again, if we do get this to a family of four, it's going to give us those extra points. So I'm not too unhappy. So we're looking for three families of the same color. We need four more orange cats to achieve that. 15 points for no treasures, four points per family of more, two points per visible rat on your boat. And I think, I mean, Kumar's going to have the challenge of filling up too much space, perhaps. But let's go back to Yana. Yana really does need to have another another lesson card she's not she she's doing okay but i don't think she's got like this big push so what's she going for i mean again though this column looks good for her because look the purple would go quite nicely the red would go quite nicely the green would go quite nicely and I think just extending those three families across, she's working really neatly across. Like she is leaving a few little gaps, but all in all, she's not doing too badly. And let's have a look. Let's let's put in the purple. Let's go for that. Then we're going to put in the green up at the top over here. And this is going to fill in this space. Once she's done that, she's going to get the common treasure. The common treasure obviously is going to come down here and fill in this space. Then she's got the red cat and the red cat is just so neatly like it's as if it was designed to be doing this. It is so, so neatly filling the boat. Now, the question is, is does she want to use one of her specials? Because if she doesn't use it now, then we both, both characters will be using them in the last rounds, which is really, really unusual. Um, but I don't know. I, I generally don't think that there's anything she needs. That lesson card isn't brilliant for her. Sure, we could draw another cat again, but like, I mean, putting another, but there's nothing special. This is just going really neatly across. I'm so proud of Yana. She's doing a good job. Let's move on to the next round. And now we are going to be using a special each round. And this is where it's going to be interesting because obviously for Kumar, these specials are safety nets. Whilst for Yana, they're ways to score extra points. So I'm not quite sure yet who's going to be in that better position as we go through into this last little part. I mean, last part, we've still got three more rounds, but I don't know. Like, Yano is looking to be in a really good place on her boat, but Kumar is deliberately choosing to not look like he's in a good place on his boat. As long as orange cats keep coming out, he is going to be okay as long as he doesn't get too much treasure. And... To be fair, and maybe he's not going to get the orange cats. Maybe drawing one cat twice is going to be a good approach for him because he's not, the orange ones just aren't coming. They're really, really not coming. Now, now interesting. What is um, Kumar going to do? I mean, one point per two cats touching the edge. One, two, three, four, five. We could easily get a few more, but it's not going to be that much. Now, we could come over here. But what's this going to give us? The green cat and one orange cat? Fine. I mean, 
that's okay but the blue and the purple just aren't doing anything for us um obviously don't want this obviously we, well i mean edge of the boat i guess isn't going to work with our strategy or approach here we do want to fill this room up here if we can and i'm thinking like this blue cat would be really good for filling this space it feels so inefficient to take this column but we do get to do a special oh my god like I, th I think this is going to be mad. This is absolutely insane. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing the purple cat here. This is a complete sacrifice. We do not want this. Then we're going to be drawing the blue cat over here. So that is simply just helping us fill up those two rooms. Oh, sorry, this one room. And that is not really great for two cats, but it's five points that we wouldn't have gotten with any other thing. And now I think we're going to take the um, Oshax and I think we're going to branch off in another direction just to try and get us that third family going. The question is, where are we going to go? We don't want to cover the rats. We do want to leave a bit of room here for green. So I think that we probably want to just come up here, maybe. I mean, if we come up across three and then across three and then up one, then that's possibly going to be the best option for us. So I think if I'm looking at it right, we're going up three, we're going to go across, we're going to go across, we're going to go up. And this is going to give us one more cat and we're gonna use a special and it feels like the logical thing to do at this point is just to draw a cat twice i think that that's what we're gonna do and i think that we're just gonna draw that same oshax again so we're gonna go up three we're gonna go across three and up one and this now gives us close right we're getting closer to having that two more orange cats and we've got three cats of the same color then if we can get extra oranges into them we're gonna get four points four points bonus 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 and maybe maybe this is gonna work we'll see back over to yana and what is yana doing i mean yana's got a good potential to fill the outside of her boat there's a lot well there's not a lot of time left but there is a lot of time left i mean taking this is a green and a purple which is great the um, orange and the blue aren't going to be too helpful for us um again maybe taking this column could be useful for us we've got one two three four five cats touching the edge of the boat so maybe just taking the purple here this could be good taking this one and drawing it into this space getting this one in up here maybe just to get the green going a little bit maybe though that's going to block off the red which wouldn't be ideal but if we got the green Maybe if we get the green to go across a bit, we could then get the blue in and cover off the rats. That doesn't feel brilliant, but it feels okay, maybe. I mean, we, 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 do we want to block off this red though? I don't know. I don't know if we do. It's a really, really, really tough one, but I think that that's what we're going to do. We're going to come across, we're going to do this, and we're going to draw in that Oshax. The question is, are we... Uh, are we going to use the special to draw that Oshax again? Because we could draw it again. And I think... It's strange. It's strange to be doing that same one again. It's just so funny how different these strategies are, and yet... I do think that those two tiles lock in quite nicely there because then that allows us to take this blue one and to put the blue one over here, which then gives us that common treasure, which allows us to fit in that tiny, tiny little space should we want to fit it in, which I think that we probably do do and that gives us another point plus negates the negative and then the purple is going to come in and the purple is going to come in across and down here so again yana is just filling the boat so smoothly and beautifully like this is one of the the cleanest across fills i've seen and i'm really really excited because kumar is i don't know 
I mean, you can tell which of the two is the tidy one, can't you? And which of the two is on the slightly messier side. So we'll see what happens. We've got two rounds left, and Kumar really needs a double orange round. If we can get a double orange round now, then we are going to be in such a good situation for Kumar. So just two oranges with no treasure. One orange. Oh my goodness. His ears have gone up. His ears, his nose is twitching. But no, it didn't come to be. Okay. We've still got chances. And Oshax. And Oshax is good. And a blue. Oh, the risk though. The treasures. The chances. The fact that Kumar's got this far without picking up any of these treasures so far has been miraculous. But double Oshax. Kumar is running around in all sorts of excitement. And now, oh, now the game is on. Now the game is on. Because what are we going to do? I mean, two points per lonely cat actually wouldn't be too bad for us. We would quite like to build, get a green and red in here as well to build up these other families. But I'm not too worried about that just yet. The two orange cats just feels so, so important to us. Like, so important. And what else 10 points and no visible rats not great seven points every cat's part of a family not gonna happen so what are we gonna do i should make sure that we have ticked off draw your next cat twice because we did use that um so take one additional item from any other column that could be it this I think this is the time we use take one additional item and then we take this one and then we can use take a um, row instead of a take um, one item from each row next round to guarantee our safety and I think that's what we're doing. I think we're going to say take one additional item from any other column and now it's just a case of how do we fit all of this on our boat without covering rats and potentially filling these rooms and without joining those families up. Boy, oh boy, that is going to be tricky, isn't it? I think, um, where are we going to go? I mean, it's, it kind of feels logical to have this one coming in and stepping down across here. So let's go with that one first. We are going to come in, going to go across, and we are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six squares. That is our first one in and now that is a free yes we covered a wrap but we're going to try and fill in this room the question is i don't know if it's going to be possible to fill this in um maybe that's just going to be asking too much without being able to use those treasures so where are our other orange cats going to go it's really tough i'm looking at them and i'm thinking we've got this one here which kind of feels perfect but it does leave us with that square but maybe we get a one by one kitten next round we could reverse it and leave us with two but again is that going to help us maybe we bring something in down here um what's this this is going to be four so if we take this oshax that's going to be one two three um four down and across which i think maybe that is going to be the right approach because that is our second oshax in okay so now we've got a three we have got a four we have got a two the two needs to become a three which means we're going to take this one here and we have to connect that to here now what's the safest way for us to do that i think just we can't connect to the other family, so we've got to be careful. Diagonals do not count, so perhaps, but we do want to try and make this a four at some point, but I don't know. I don't think there's any way we're going to achieve that. So I'm thinking the best logical option is to come across here and then go one, two, three, four. That just feels like a safe bet maybe one of these two can become a four as well maybe we can get a red family in maybe we can get a green family in that's feeling okay but we do have this blue cat to consider and this blue cat is not great for us because we kind of i don't know what are we going to do with this blue cat are we going to gamble we're going to get something for this next round um i guess we have to like what could we do there or do we cover this maybe we could put the blue cat along here and come down a little bit um it's not going to be enough to fill that square though and it's going to leave us with a bit of a gap here so maybe we come over here with the blue cat we could just stick the blue cat over here out of the way and i feel like for now that's probably going to be our safest bet because it's not going to cover 
any bits. It's not going to cover anything that's going to cost us points. And I think that that's going to be okay. So Kumar, wow, we've got our three families. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. We really want to fill this square, these three squares as a minimum next round. And hopefully some kittens are going to come out to help us do something. Over to Yana. And what are we thinking? Like no lonely cats, 10 points if you've got no visible rats. That is definitely, definitely doable. Seven points if every cat on your family is part of, on your boat as part of a family. If we do this, we could do the blue and then we could take another blue. And I think, I really feel like that might be the play. I think we're going to go for double lessons, blue, take another item from another row and take one of these as blue to see how that's going to fit. So let's go for it. 21. This is going to be 10 points if you've got no visible rats. Number nine, seven points if every cat on your boat is part of a family. And we, we're really in a good place to be able to achieve that. So now we can draw any one of these and this one. So we're going to say, um, take one item from another column and the question is just going to be what is going to help us the most over here what is going to be the optimum play we could come across and do the zigzag we could do the four and the three i kind of feel like oh it's a hard one it's a really really tough one part of me is thinking this one here coming down and across and then bringing in Oh, is that going to fit? Maybe that's going to fit. Maybe. Let's do it. Let's go for it. I think across, down, across, four, that is going to be covering those. And then let's try and get this one in over here, which is going to give us, oh, that does work really nicely, doesn't it? That works so, so well. So next round, we want to fill that square and we want to cover these rats, maybe fill those squares, maybe fill these, like Yana is in such a strong position and can take any three cards that she likes in the last round. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I do not know who's going to win. Like Yana feels like she is really in the lead, but at the same time, I don't know how this is going to play out. I really don't know. Kumar is kind of make or break this next round because he really, really wants... Two tiny orange kittens would be absolutely fantastic for him, but that seems like a miracle if that was to happen. Um, I don't know. Lots of blue is not looking good for him. Okay, we are desperate. There's one orange. One orange is okay. It's not going to be enough. This is not looking good for Kumar. Yana, on the other hand, I think is having the best day of her life. Let's see what is coming out here. Let's see what we can do. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, this has worked so perfectly. So, so perfectly for Yana, I believe. Um, Kumar, what are we going to do? We've got two points per visible rat on your boat. Four points per family of four or more. So that's a family of four. If we could get this to a family of four, that would help us considerably. And we can do that. 15 points for three families of the same color and 15 points if you've got no treasure on your boat. So if we take that cat, put it in here, that does make this a four. What else can we do with the other cards? I mean, arguably, can we get a green and a red? We can't get a green. We could get a red and make this one a family. We could get a blue. Oh, could we? Mm, I mean, take one row instead of a column. Uh, one item from each row, yes. Or take a row. Is there a row that's going to work for us? I mean, if we did this, that would give us two reds. We're not going to fill the captain's rooms, but that's okay. I mean, two reds and this would give us a lot of extra points. We could take two blues and try and fill some of the space, but I don't know if we're, are we gonna fill these rooms? Um, this red would help us fill this room. What is this gonna help us with though? Is that gonna help us with anything? I don't know. I mean, this orange feels like a good card. Oh, we have to take that orange. The question just becomes, can we fill these rooms and continue that family? I mean, this, does that, right? This does that family. So I feel like this is a must as well. This feels like a good option for us. I don't think there's any way we're going to get this done, but I think that maybe just taking these two cats is going to be a good option for us. Or like, 
This one over here could be good. We could take this red, take this red and flip it down here. That would be good. We took that red and flipped it down there and put the orange here. Then that would be the red and the orange. And then we could take one of these and maybe we just take that blue to fill that space. I think that's what we do. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to say, take one item, um, from each row instead of taking a column and then I think we're going to take this orange cat here this orange is going to come in here and this is now going to create a family of four up here which gives us an extra three an extra seven points then this red cat is going to come in and this red cat is going to come down here and fill in this space that's going to give us five points for the room it's going to give us eight points for that family and then we're going to take this blue cat up here which isn't going to do too much for us but it is going to finalize that last room for us there's going to be another five points and i think that that's not too bad i mean kumar's got four rooms open which we kind of expected like having one more would have been good but that's not too bad and now yana 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 you need your families you need to fill your spaces what are we gonna do can we cover these rats fill this room like this this red would be beautiful for this space what can we put in here though that's the problem that would have to be this piece coming across and then two common treasures and this blue cat i think this is it i think this is it we're gonna take a row instead of a column we are taking a row instead of a column we are gonna take this beautiful red cat here and we're going to fill in this space. This is an absolute dream of a piece. We are then going to take, I mean, maybe, maybe we use the common treasure here to fill this space. Maybe we use the blue here. So if we take this blue cat and we draw this blue cat into this space here, that is going to then help us fill in this bit of room. That's then going to need a one common treasure and then... I don't know can we do it if i do that i think i've just messed it up haven't i i should have done it the other way i should have put the long one across one two three four five common treasure block we've got to cover the rats oh my goodness i forgot we've got to cover the rats okay that's fine we're, we're just gonna to have to sacrifice a room so we're gonna go for the five so we're gonna go across one two three four five then we've got our two common treasures we have to cover the rats otherwise all is going to fall apart so that's going to be one common treasure that's going to be one common treasure not quite as beautiful as i was hoping but we have managed to achieve some great things so let's go into the scoring and see what's happened and honestly i'm not really sure who's going to be the winner here like i've I am amazed by Kumar's game. Like, this is going to be really interesting for me. I really don't know. So let's go with the blue families. So there's going to be no cats for blues, no for greens, orange, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be 11, 22, 30 points for those oranges. Purple families, none. Red families, eight. So that's 38 points so far. Rare treasures, none. Lesson cards, two points per visible rat on your boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's put those 10, um, 20 points in. We'll put the minus 10 in for the rats now so we don't have to count them again. Four points per family of four or more cats. We've got one, two. So that is going to give us eight we're then going to look at 15 points we've got at least three families of the same color which we do so that's going to be 15 and then 15 points for no treasure so that's going to be 15 minus five per room one two three four so that's going to be minus 20 so in total 30 38 58 66 96 86 66 points that does not seem too bad let's just double check that's a minus 30 38 28 36 66 points wow what a score for that strategy i 
for that to get 66 points is miraculous and we were so close just a couple more little tiles up there one more orange cat over here and we could have really flung that up i mean we've got one two three four cats five six cats that are doing nothing i mean this one's cost us five points so we've got one two three four five six useless cats and we still got 66 points that is not a bad score so let's go over to yana and i've got a feeling yana's gonna have done a little bit better but we will see one two three four five reds i don't know why i'm starting with reds blues one two three four five i'm just so excited to see how she's done 15 one two three four of those is going to be 11 we've got no orange we've got one two three four purple which is going to be 11 and one two three four five red which is going to be 15 she is looking good at the moment she has got no rare treasure lessons though one point per common treasure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of those and then what have we got seven points if every cat on your boat is part of a family and it's a amazing this blue at the end came in so unexpectedly 10 points if you've got no visible rats on your boat there are no visible rats on the boat so that's going to be 10 points we're going to get none for this and we've got one two rooms that we've not filled so that's going to be minus 10 so we've got 15 30 41 52 62 69 79 69 is it really that close minus 10 10 0 7 17 22 32 43 54 69 Whoa three points what incredible different strategies i cannot believe kumar came that close to beating yana with this approach it's madness and this people this ladies and gentlemen is why this game is so magnificent because we took two entirely different strategies we went bonkers bizarre over here with kumar we went crazy neat over here with yana and we were three points different i hope you've enjoyed this playthrough i have had a lot of fun if you've got any comments please ask them in the question in the comment section below and until next time guys keep on adventuring